In San Francisco, the Metro Transit Agency, which operates Muni, is now facing a nearly $13 million budget shortfall in the years ahead. But to balance the books and keep bus, buses and trains running at current levels, the agency is now considering raising prices from several things, from parking fees to fines. Here's NBC's Sergio Quintana. At the moment, San Francisco buses keep running and Muni lines keep moving along thanks to a $309 million infusion of cash from the state last year. But in 2026, that money will run out, leaving the agency with a projected $13 million hole in its budget. Now the agency is looking for ways to plug that hole. The proposal currently being considered involves four parts. Raising residential parking permit fees by 45 bucks, hiking illegal parking fines by 5%, reinstating taxi fees that were suspended during the pandemic and nixing the current 50 cent discount for using a clipper card on Muni. This new proposal is basically the SFMTA's fallback plan after last year's proposal to extend parking meter hours across the city met with some really fierce resistance. If the SFMTA is not able to raise a new funding, Director of Transit Julie Kirschbaum says cuts will have to be made. We are still working through those with our board, but it would be looking at reducing um, services. But she says it would not be a cut as drastic as last year's proposal to cut or modify 20 bus lines before the state and regional funding kicked in. Some residents say they don't mind the rising prices if it saves current bus and light rail service. I would prefer to take those systems and drive in the city um, most days just because it's more convenient. So I would, it would be a shame to see those less available. But not everyone we asked had the same opinion. Melissa Castillo coordinates parking permits for teachers at a school in the mission. I think it's all the a terrible idea. I know currently we are dealing with um, a shortage, um, but we're still working families that still need to work in San Francisco. Jose Castillo says he'll often avoid parking in the city if he can because it's already pricey, especially if you get a ticket. Usually I go to make by my groceries in San Mateo County is is more more is more better more bigger space to park. The current proposal will be presented during an upcoming meeting next Tuesday. If it's adopted and approved, some of the changes could take effect as early as this summer. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC Bay Area News.